Hello friends, recently Sketchware has been updated and in the updated version Firebase has been added to Sketchware and when you go to logic area or here in the options you can see that a new option is there called library manager. In this new option you will find that there is a setting called Firebase database settings and here you have to add Firebase project ID and Firebase app ID. All other things which are to be done to use Firebase are to be done later but first we have to use this project ID and app ID here in Firebase database setting. So in this video I will show you how to get this Firebase project ID and Firebase app ID. So let's start. For this we have to go to the website of Firebase the website is console.firebase.google.com and in this website you have to add a new project so add a new project when you click on add a new project you get to write name of your project now you can write any name like uh, my database then it will automatically generate a project ID this project ID is important because it has to be used in sketchware so we can copy this thing and we will paste it in any of our text manager This is our project ID. Now after writing the project name, select the country. And after selecting the country, click on create project this will lead to a page called overview page and now here we have to add our project add our app since there is no option to add the Android app here. We have to click here at top and then we have to click on request desktop site. So just click on this request desktop site and then it will refresh the page. When the page gets refreshed, you can see that there is an option to add app, either iOS app or Android app or web app. So click on Android app, add Firebase to your Android app. And now here we have to write the package name of our app. So for getting the package name, go back to Sketchware. And now click on show source code here you can see the package name at top it is a name you kept com.fire.base.datas so we have to write the same thing here com.fire.base dot datas okay now next thing is nickname which is optional now we can write a nickname like base underscore 
datas and then there is this thing called SHA1 key which is optional and for generating this key this key is important for enabling Google sign in but since we are not enabling Google sign in we will leave it blank and it is it can be generated in computer so we will just leave it blank Now still there is this option register app is not enabled so we will just remove this nickname and now register the app so we only have to enter the package name then register app After registering the app, it shows download Google services .json. It is not important if you are gen developing the project in Sketchware. So just click on continue. After this, you will find what changes to be made in build.grader file at app level and project level. So this is also not important for Sketchware. So just click on finish. And that's all. Now you have added the app to your project. Now click on settings, project settings. And here you can find the app ID and project ID. This is the project ID which we have already co copied. So we need not copy it again. Just copy the app ID again. This is the new app ID which we have to copy. and then go to sketchware click on library manager click on firebase database settings and then paste the app id and then get the project id which we copied and paste it in sketchware so now we have copied both project id and app id now click on save that's all we are done here but we need few more changes in firebase after doing this go back to project overview and then click on database then click on get started Here you will see that there is one thing called data, then rules, backups, and usage. Click on rules. And here in rules, change the read authority equal to null to read true and write true
write true and this read also true. Now after this click on publish So after click on publish we have added these rules to our site and database to our new app so now we can use this database in our app 